Batman Rogue Files, The Ventriloquist and Scarface. Arnold Wesker was orphaned as a child and repressed his feelings so deeply that he developed dissociative identity disorder. As an adult, he let those angry feelings out and killed a man, landing him in Blackgate Penitentiary. There, his cellmate Donegan showed him a ventriloquist dummy that he had carved out of the wood of the Blackgate's gallows tree. Perhaps the wood was cursed, but Wesker was irresistibly drawn to the doll. He killed Donegan for it, and the psychopathic personality of Scarface emerged, and Wesker lets the Scarface personality do the dirty work. He is totally dominated by Scarface, who barks orders at him and degrades him with verbal and even physical abuse. Wesker and Scarface became major players in Gotham's underworld. Like most who wind up in that life, he was killed. Murdered in the street. Eventually, a new female ventriloquist named Peyton Riley had showed up on the scene, under the influence of Scarface. She, too, had similar luck as Wesker, ultimately influenced by Scarface to kill herself to murder another crime lord named Sabatino. 